in a world fascinated with the future. Sensational predictions and apocalyptic prophecies often capture the imagination. But what happens when these captivating forecasts drift away from foundational texts they claim to represent? Welcome to the Truth Be Told Project and welcome to a journey into the heart of end time prophecies. And today we're venturing beyond the veil of sensationalism to uncover what the Bible really says about the end of days. We'll explore some of the most popular and sometimes outlandish end time theories that have captured public attention and then we'll hold them up against the light of scripture. Are these ideas deeply rooted in biblical prophecy or are they mere speculations that have taken on a life of their own? From blood moons to Mayan calendars, from exact date predictions to the identity of the Antichrist, the world of eschatology is rife with theories that intrigue, alarm, and sometimes mislead. But what does the Bible actually say? Stay with us as we demystify these concepts, separating fact from fiction and bringing the focus back to the core biblical teachings. That's what comes up today on the Truth Be Told Project. In the realm of Christian eschatology or end time viewpoints, there are various sensational ideas and interpretations concerning Bible prophecy. And these views have gained popularity despite not being explicitly supported by biblical texts. Here are a few examples. But before I get started, what do I mean by sensational ideas. What I mean is ideas that capture your attention but are not necessarily explained in the Bible and a lot of people take on viewpoints that are sensational, that are headline capturing and attention grabbing but are not necessarily taught by the Bible. Here we go. Nine views that are sensational, but not necessarily taught by scripture. Number one on the list is blood moons. The idea that a series of blood moons or lunar eclipses is a sign of impending major biblical events, despite there being no clear biblical basis for this interpretation. The second on the list is Mayan calendars. I know some of you are thinking, Mayan calendars, that's not taught in the Bible. There are some Christians who have connected the end of the Mayan calendar cycle with the end of the world as prophesied in the Bible, even though there is no scriptural link to the Mayan civilization or its calendar. It never fails. Number three on the list is setting specific dates and predictions for the end of the world. Numerous individuals and groups have claimed to have calculated the exact date of the end time, such as Harold Camping's predictions for 2011, despite Jesus' own words that no one knows the day nor the hour. You look on TikTok, YouTube, there's always someone making a prediction of when the rapture was gonna come and making predictions for the end of the world and when it will take place. Now, this next one is going to offend people, but I do it because I love you and I am passionate about teaching truth. The fourth one, the rapture as a secret event. Some interpret the rapture as a secret event where Christians will disappear silently and without notice, but critics argue that the Bible depicts the return of Christ as very visible and very noisy. So there's a lot of people who try to take a bunch of different random scriptures and make him implicate that the rapture or the return of Christ will be a secret event. But scripture is clear that the return of Christ will be very visible, very noisy. And it also makes clear that every eye will see when he returns. And scripture is also clear that there is only a second coming of Christ. If there was a secret rapture that will require a third return of Christ. One when he came, when he was born, 
one when he came to get the church and another to come back and judge the world and the bible doesn't support that idea at all and here's another one we see it every election or whenever a political figure takes office and he's a little controversial it's the identity of the antichrist various historical and contemporary figures have been labeled as the antichrist in sensationalist in time viewpoints yet the bible does not name an individual and advises caution in such identifications people from adolf hitler barack obama ronald reagan donald trump a few of these figures have been labeled as the antichrist but the bible doesn't support the idea of identifying the antichrist there is a branch in Christianity that consults numerology. Numerology is another method of using numbers or using numerology to decode hidden meanings in the Bible, especially in the book of Revelation. This often leads to speculative and sensational teachings not directly supported by scripture. Another one is the prosperity gospel in eschatology or end time views. This is the belief that material wealth and physical well-being are a sign of the end time blessings, ignoring the biblical emphasis on spiritual readiness and the possibility of suffering for faith. Yeah, so ignore the prosperity gospel. Another one you see this quite frequently is UFOs and aliens. Some interpretations of biblical prophecy include the involvement of extraterrestrial life or unidentified flying objects in end time events. Though these ideas are more modern and speculative, you will not find any support for this idea in the scriptures. Another one is national and global events as fulfillments of prophecy these people connect every major natural disaster war or political event directly to specific biblical prophecies when many theologians caution against such direct correlations without clear scriptural backing listen everything that happens in the world every natural disaster every war every political event is not a sign of a specific biblical prophecy being fulfilled it just isn't. A lot of people make sensational claims that have no backing in scripture. And when times go and pass and nothing happens, they have to move the goalposts and predict the next natural disaster or political event as some sort of fulfillment of prophecy. In this video, we've seen how easily fascinated theories can captivate our minds and emotions. We delved into the realms of blood moons, decoded myths surrounding the Mayan calendar and unraveled the tangled web of date setting prophecies. We've also grappled with the elusive identity of the Antichrist and sifted through various speculative narratives. But in returning to the Bible, the anchor of our faith, we find a message that's less about fear and speculation and more about hope, vigilance, and spiritual preparedness. The true essence of biblical prophecy is not to provide a sensationalized account of the future, but to guide us towards a deeper understanding of our faith and to prepare us for whatever lies ahead, be it trials or triumphs. The Bible reminds us to approach prophecy with humility and discernment, understanding that our vision is limited, much like seeing through a glass darkly, as stated in 1 Corinthians 13, 12. In the end, the core message of scripture is not one of fear, but of redemption not of precise timelines, but of eternal promises. As we continue on our individual and collective journeys of faith, let's cherish the wisdom found in the Bible, staying grounded in its teachings while remaining open to the mystery and majesty of God's plan. What are your ideas about this topic? What are some things that you've heard that is quite sensational? Sound off in the comment section below. Thank you for joining me on this enlightening journey. Until next time, keep seeking, keep questioning, and keep the faith at the heart of your exploration. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, so you're updated on our latest content. Peace.